Hi everyone, welcome to Enjoy Bio Class. We have learned about the characteristics of living things in smaller class. What are the living things grow, living things respire, living things reproduce. What is the meaning of reproduction? It is a process of producing young ones of their own kind. For example, cats are producing young ones of their own kind. If we think about us, we are not exactly similar to our parents. There are some differences. What are the reasons behind these two? The best way of understanding the reasons behind these are demonstration of Gregor John Mendel. He selected pea plant. Scientific name is Pisa city And he selected one toad plant and crossed with the one dwarf plant. In the first generation, that is F1, in the first generation, all plants are tall. Then he crossed uh, the plants in F1 generation with the F1 generation. Then F1 into F1. In the second generation, tall and dwarf in 3 is to 1 ratio. 3 talls and 1 dwarf. He repeated this experiment with the other characters of the pea plant. For example, he crossed pea plant with purple flower to pea plant with the white flower. In the first generation all are purple but in the second generation purple and white in 3 is to 1 ratio. And he repeated the same experiment with the 7 contrasting characters but he got same result. If you need to understand the reasons behind this, we need to think about the hidden factors behind this. Our all characters are controlled by factors from father and factors from mother. Like that, in tall plan, we can give the name for this hidden factor that is with the first letter of the character which is expressing in the first generation. How can we give the name? That is we can take the first letter of the character which is expressing in the first generation. In the case of tall and toa, which letter we need to select? No, no, that is T. Okay, then for the third plan we can give capital T and capital T. In the toa case, we need to take the small letter of the first letter of the character present in the first generation. Here we need to write small t and small t. Okay. Then here we can see how here are two t. Yes, that is because for controlling the character that is tall, it needs one factor from father and one from mother. So we need to write t t. Okay, then uh, we need to think about the gamete. What is the condition of the gamete? How many T's are there? Two or one? No doubt each gamete carries only one T. So, let's go through Mendel's experiment once again. Mendel selected pure tall plant, the capital T and capital T. And he crossed it with dwarf plant with small t, small t. Here, gametes carry only one t. In the F1 generation, all plants are tall with the capital T and small t. The capital T is expressing in the first generation, but the small t is not able to express in the presence of capital T. Mendel then self-crossed the F1 plant with the capital T and small t. Here, the gametes are two types. Petani plants produce 50% pollen grain with a capital T and another 50% with a small t. Maternal plants produce 50% egg with a capital T and 50% egg with a small t in the F1 generation. In F2 generation, tall and dwarf are in 3 is to 1 ratio. 3 talls and 1 dwarf. 
here we need to learn many things related to that living things are able to reproduce or as we can say living things are able to produce in ones of their own kind do you know what is the name of that process transferring characters from generation to generation that is heredity okay in the second case we learn that we are not exactly similar to our parents there are some differences what is the name of this difference of n1 with their parents that is variation here we learned two types heredity and variation there is a special branch in biology to learn about heredity and variation do you know the name of that branch of biology that is genetics okay here the reason behind this was first clearly demonstrated by or explained by the scientist that is gregor john mendel so he is called the father of genetics who is the father of genetics that is gregor john mendel here we learned about the different characters which we can see for example tall and dwarf white flower and purple flower the characters which are expressing or the physically appearing character that is called the phenotype and what is the name we can give for genetical appearance that is genotype here phenotype tall and dwarf then what are the genotypes capital t capital t and small t small t okay then what is the difference between phenotype and genotype phenotype that is physical appearance and genotype that is genetic appearance in this experiment mendel selected parents with different one character for example difference in height they are one is tall the other one is dwarf like this the crossing of parents with a different single character that is called mono hybrid cross otherwise we can see in an experiment if we select one trait then we can say that is mono hybrid cross okay here we got the ratio 3 is to 1 in this mono hybrid cross so this ratio is called mono hybrid ratio there are something behind the expressive characters mendel called that factors at the present name of mendel's factors that is gene our all characters are controlled by genes but these genes are present in different forms here we saw that capital t and small t these different forms are called the alleles different forms of genes are called the alleles in the case of alleles we could see similar alleles and different alleles for example mendel selected p plant with the capital t and capital t then here tall plant with the capital t and capital t and dwarf plant with the small t and small t if the alleles are similar if the alleles of a gene are similar then they are called homozygous if they are different they are called heterozygous for example the genotype of the young ones of the first generation was capital t and small t then that is heterozygous based on his experiments in mono hybrid cross mendel explained to loss first one law of dominance and the second one that is the law of segregation as we can study the law of dominance according to the law of dominance characters are controlled by discrete units called factors factors occur in pairs in a dissimilar pair of factors one member of the pair dominates the other the ways we can see the characters which is expressing in the f1 generation are called the dominant character in the character which is not able to express in the first generation they are called recessive traits law of segregation states that two alleles of a gene segregate or separate during gamete formation 
and only one of the two alleles is put into a gamete.